Hi there, sign of Libra. This is Kim here to do your next 48 hour reading for you. I'm a little greasy, so just so you know, I'll be a little shiny tonight. <laughs> I did my castor oil routine, and if you work with castor oil, <laughs> then you are as sticky as I am at night. <laughs> so, anyways, this shit really works though, okay? So, let's see here. Libra, San Paulo Santo. Let's call in the Violet Flame. I've been working with that lately. I love it. Thank you, Saint Germain and Angel Zagiel. Let's call in their energies with the Violet Flame. You can just kind of imagine a Violet Flame coming in through your chakras, through the top, through your crown chakra, and um, and then all of your chakras, grounding you with the the uh, Earth Star. Okay, so Violet Flame, beautiful energy. All right, so you're going to give us messages here that are good for what Libra wants to know or needs to know next 48 hours. Thank you all so much for your views. Last time I checked, got a lot of views from Libra. I'm really surprised. I'm really happy about that. So I like the sign of Libra. I connect very well with Libras. I just really like their personalities. You all have great personalities. <clears throat> all right. And not to mention, you're very pretty people, so you're easy to look at. You're easy to look at. You're easy to look at. You're easy on the eyes. Zebras are easy on the eyes. Very beautiful people. What do I have? I have silver. Let's see what else. There might be a little dust on the bottle. Don't let it fool you about what's inside. Silver. This is what the silver card's given off me. Um, the energy of... It just needs some polishing. Something needs some polishing. Something needs... Dust it off. Hmm... Okay. All right. So yeah. So something just need. It's like, it's like practice makes perfect, and something's already perfect. Maybe you don't see this, so maybe you need to just polish some things out, smooth a few rough patches out. I don't know. Um. And then I have the androgen with this beautiful spider. And the blue rose uh this card it gives off like a lover's feel to it it means kind of though that it's not masculine or feminine it's not this or that it's both and it's before a uh, creation of labels so it's the ultimate creative project and it usually is like it gives me the vibe of you and somebody else um and then we have the ash so look you're probably the phoenix rising from this ash um, the ash are the <clears throat> memories that we're putting in the past. The ash. Yeah, we're rise <laughs> and we're rising above it. Sublimination. This the story of the Phoenix without it actually picturing the Phoenix quite yet. We still have a few decks that it might come out, but um sublimination or something that um uh, yeah, rises, rises to the top, taking flight. It could be literally like something is um, about to take flight. You could be about to take flight. I don't know. You're right. You're rising above of these ashes. You're rising up and out. So there's something where you're about to have a rise. Good. It's good. After a time of um, a lot of growth on the inside, when things might have not looked like they were doing anything on the outside, it could have been like your winter, you know, your gestation period, your time of stillness. Oh, wow. <laughs> your time of stillness. Oh, yay. The winter. Yay. 
And I quickly jumped to the next card because I like them. I like the next card. I have the Alchemical Wedding and the wet, the Red and White Rose. This one about seriously something blooming, blossoming, such as romance or a celebration. There are kitties here, by the way. There's two two kittens that I'm helping take care of. And um, that's what the noise is, if you're wondering what that noise is. So, Alchemical Wedding is the coming together of these elements or particles that you had to break down. It's to create something new. Again, giving me that lover's vibe with that card, you know? Could have been that something, maybe love life was dormant for a while or, um, or perhaps you felt like something wasn't was it wasn't exactly what you were wanting to celebrate in regards to work or something like that but this is the passion blooming this is the um it could be like the kundalini rising here as it goes from divine feminine up to divine masculine energies coming out of a dark period in your life and it's time um it will be time to celebrate soon for your rise and after all that you had been through, it may seem like you're not shining as bright as you would like. That's just, um, those, those are just the ashes here, the memory that needs to be polished off. And remember, ash can be used as a good polish, okay? That's interesting. That's an interesting message, isn't it? Okay, so... Yeah, I love that. I love that. I like this reading so far. Let's use this deck, 108. Thunderstorm, power, and within a few days. Something, something is going to be like within a few days or something like that. Peace. Next 48 hour, give me some messages, please, for our Libras. Try moving on. Moving on from these past memories is, is exactly what... It, sometimes the readings, I feel like if I, if I just say things in a very simple... Maybe one line is all it takes instead of reading off all these cards... Um, this is about moving on the train and moving on ashes representing what you're moving on from, which is the representing the past. <clears throat> Sorry, some water. I hope that didn't slurp too loud. <laughs> Whoa. We fell on the on the floor. Oh, my foot's on it. I would have never known. Okay. What do we have? I have very likely, very likely. Um, it, it's given off the vibe of that uh, card on my, one of my Oracle decks, the Garden of Venus. Um, there's just something about the... And we're working with the violet flame. So this violet color... It's, um, similar to this like rising up taking flight moving on something's very likely that it will happen the way that you're wanting it look at the the girl with her arms out like the bird I like those those two go together for sure oh this is gonna be one of those fun readings where things actually match up with other cards and stuff cool let's get another card then and I can have fun with that for Libra old car <clears throat> this could represent winter or it can represent ash to back in time nostalgia but it's weary and worn out um, it was a family pattern it was something that was kind of stuck in the past and it couldn't be drivable it's not drivable <laughs> anymore this old car it's time for the uh, retirement of the car or the situation the 
people places that those things right and it sat for a very long time something is uncertain at this time the situation or outcome is undetermined <clears throat> really pretty landscape so what are they talk what are you all talking about with the uncertain please Timing, about timing, some kind of timing. <clears throat> Unlikely or uncertain, and then three, the constellation, network support in connection with a large amount or quantity. Oh, they're giving us a puzzle now. I'm gonna have to figure this out. Uncertain. <clears throat> What are, what are these cards about uncertain or unlikely? Uncertain or unlikely. Delay in communication. I don't know of who from, but there's a delay in communication at this time. <clears throat> Doesn't mean that it's never gonna happen, but if you're asking for something in the next 48 hour, and there's something about communication here. Um, halt, halted communication for a moment or pause of something moving forward for the moment. Judgment as the, as the kind of like a challenging energy with that. Judgment coming in. King of Discs. Okay. All right, so for some of you all, this ash is representing a past lesson or person that you invested in or gave your time. Could even be job related that you that you've invested a lot in that now looking back would be a lesson if you were to try to do it did the same thing again it would you just end up like with this old car energy a bad investment a lesson trying that you don't have to learn a lesson over and over right um <clears throat> it seems like the communication is off here with some people in your group or whoever <clears throat> is tied to these memories um, it feels like a, a energy here of where you just don't resonate anymore. Not that you're better with the judgment energy, but you're just different. And you don't, they don't resonate the same. There is a focus here on the king of disc. And there may be some uncertainty when it comes to work or finances or how you're going to support the people that are maybe under your umbrella <clears throat> but with it being in the upright i think that's a really good sign for you okay um but we are going to get we're going to get more because i mean this could be about waiting uh, like well we'll make a big stab in the in the uh, matrix here <laughs> for some of you all it's about wanting to move forward with a proposal or something that you have an announcement a wedding a proposal a path that you're like wanting to come together and celebrate but there's something on hold or delay about it not that it's not there because this is can represent the new investment opportunity the new adventure And while all that is like on hold or waiting, um, wanting quick communication is probably unlikely with this, with what you're wanting to celebrate. <laughs> Marriage on the bottom. See, like coming together to create something that's never been created before. It's giving, 1444 was on the timer. It's giving me a very nice 
wanting to create like new memory feeling, you know, wanting to create new memories. Definitely okay with moving on from the past. No, no hip, hiccups there. Your rise to what you want and your transcendence to all the issues or problems that we have here on earth is very likely. I think there's just a delay. My honest opinion is I feel like there's just some sort of delay. I don't know what the delay is about, what it's from, but maybe the Kipper deck will help us a little bit more. It might have to do with the main female energy. It's uncertain. And then there's the message of concern in the reverse because of waiting on um, a message, waiting on um, communication. You could be feeling uncertain about this main female, or if you're the main female, then they're letting you know that if you have not communicated with somebody, not saying you have to, just saying like if there's something that you've been delaying or that you haven't communicated with someone about, it's because you may be feeling uncertain about a situation. Either way, there's a message not getting through on some end, on one end of this, okay? Great fortune on the bottom. Tell me about the silver. Not what you're expecting. Not what you're expecting. Privileged lady. Reverse the pathway in the reverse. Was, let me get another one. I'm kind of at a loss for words here. Tell me about um, what is expectation in the reverse about? Oh, usually it's like not what you're expecting. Timing. Your ten of pentacles. Alignment, effort, timing, letting go of things from the past. There's um, not what you were expecting. There's more effort here. Somebody doesn't get things handed to them. Something about that is not what you're expecting. Or maybe you're expecting more and haven't gotten it because the nine of pentacle here can also be a delay of some sort when it comes to something financial but i feel like you've surprised somebody because of not being what they were expecting they were expecting like to find out i don't know that maybe you had something handed to you or had something comfy or cushy or and it's not that way at all and there's so there's something about timing I said that. I said it's not that these things won't happen at all, whatever this communication is. It's just that there's something about the timing and what, if you relate with the divine feminine energy, what this divine feminine energy is going through at the moment. So focus alignment on, keep on letting go of the past, focusing on self-reliance, independence, entrepreneurship, and the Nine of Cups, any kind of like self-satisfaction that you definitely have has all, um, be, this is, you're getting this because of your efforts, even if something is out of delay. You have a beautiful, beautiful combination of these energies right here. So being aligned with the two of wands, of um, paths that meet up with your higher self in essence, marriage and relationships, Libra, balancing out partnerships, living in your truth, leads you to your ten of pentacle i mean <laughs> you have this combined everybody's going to get along the past will be able to leave in the like the hard parts you know will be able to leave in the past and yes everything does come together good uh, there's a lot of wealth and sharing of wealth here and there's established um connections and good strong family connections too it's, there's a strong alignment here. Um, 
Okay, there's just something with the communication right now or a delay of some sort of some sort of news. Lover's card on the bottom. You're at a crossroads. Needing to decide something, being at a crossroads and uh, having a big decision. Yes, it all. You are aligned. Master number 22, I am aligned. So I said the alignment is perfect here for everything that is going to come together. Don't fret. You are in possession of incredible creative powers, and it is assured that you can achieve anything you wish. I am aligned. And master number 55, I'm evolving. Substantial changes in your future. Embrace the change and need to overcome your insecurities and let, goes, let go of your fears. I'm evolving. And we'll do one more. And I do have private readings, by the way, if you need a private reading. Two, two, two. 29, I am insightful, and 333, three, I am powerful on the bottom. Um, I have private readings. If you would, hit like and subscribe, please. <laughs> and I'm sending you much love. Bye.